to lead. Screw this thing. You saw nothing, okay? Sometimes the light plays tricks. Makes a statue look like it's seeping blood, but it's all just in your head. I know a bleeding statue when I see you know one. Nothing. Hey, what's going on here with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Reese. Things are going great. Did you just say Reese? I could have swore you said Reese. Isn't that the name of the dead guy they picked up on Pandora? I think she said release. Release? Yeah, like, hey, release me. How pathetic. Right. Except what she apparently said was, Oh, hi, release. Things are going great. Yeah, that's a weird sentence, isn't it? So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Just another case of vandalism on the Handsome Jack tour. Yeah, I've got some heavy interrogation ahead of me with this Pandoran scum. Interrogation? Oh yeah, you don't do... Whatever they did, and not get some interrogation for your trouble. You know what I'm saying? I guess so. Go on and grab some lunch or something. Hey, I hear the macaroni is good. I got this handled. I do love macaroni. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Nice job. So, what is this plan, exactly? Jack told me about a trapdoor that leads to his office. We just gotta figure out a way up. So I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting lost by a death machine? No, that's... that's a problem. How can we help? By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. But now I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait, we gotta go up that scary dark hole? 
I think Reese is the only one scrawny enough to fit. Phew! Whew! Glad I got these meaty ham hocks! So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. Unclear, but it's all we've got, so... There's that. Well, I'm overflowing with confidence. Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem. Hurry up, Reese. Okay. Oh! How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem. Try not to die. Reese, you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it! Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy! Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her! Climb! Climb! You've got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave them the slip. But Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to, and no one has to get hurt. Dude, I am in the middle of something. I'm gonna have to call you back. What? Listen to me, you... God, so dramatic about everything. Check you out, you made it! In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. This place is just overflowing with assholes. I don't know how I stood it for so long. Cause you had to. But hey, you're in the big leagues now. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordis Beacon? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, there's really no rush here. Just take it easy. Snopus. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary method of communication. Gotta love it. Usually like people knowing about her. 
you and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. That's cool. What is this? Ah, it's a piece from an early immortality suit prototype, but it uh, killed the subject, which is great, but just not what we're going for. Welcome to my trophy case, huh? Got a couple of killer relics, a few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty frickin' cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. It's delish. Gordas, you there? Uh, hi. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is, all right? So this means you own Atlas? Yep, that's right. I own the whole shebang. This way I've got the option of building them back up to destroy all over again whenever I want. Nope, but cute cowboy hat. Cowgirl. Yeah, I don't uh, have a cowboy hat. Uh, but that was my girlfriend's hat. Well, her first one before she became a... Sexy badass sheriff type chick. <laughs> he suited her. Definitely not. Oh, this. This shotgun. It's legend freaking dairy. <laughs> Hyperion named it the conference call because you're going to want to call everyone to tell them how awesome it is. <laughs> then you kill them. I don't even know what that is. It's... Yeah, yeah. I go deep. Yeah. <laughs> Belonged to the jackass Earl Tassiter, my former boss. I like to keep that around as a reminder of what happens when you act like a dick to me. I hope the beacon looks super cute on me. I wonder what I'll become. Negative. Mm, uh uh. Great. I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. See you soon. Not much to look at. Okay. Here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. That gorgeous thing, we should be able to still. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. 